All right, Darren, thank you. Well, remembering a Husky legend tonight, a crowd is gathered at the University of Washington for a memorial in honor of Husky football player Rod Jones, who passed away last week. The 54 year old died by suicide after his family says years of head trauma from football took its toll on him. In recent years, Jones worked for the University of Washington. King 5's Amy Marino is live in the newsroom with how the Husky Nation came together to remember him. Amy. Yeah, well, the service was a mix of laughter through tears and both of those things say people remembering a truly special man and facing the sad reality that he's gone. Rod Jones made headlines as a star football player at the University of Washington, where he helped lead the Husky football team to a number two finish in the country in 1984. He went on to the NFL, being drafted by the Giants, playing for the Chiefs, the 49ers and the Seahawks. He was later inducted into the Husky Hall of Fame, part of a select few to wear that special purple blazer. And we saw some of those at today's service. There really wasn't as much focus on Jones football player play. His daughter talked about how he valued people. The man who worked at the university for 18 years helping guide student athletes through their academic work. Another friend shared her last conversation with him just last week. It was the typical conversation that we would have. We talked about family. We talked about the holidays and we talked about football. And he said that he felt that he was happy the Huskies were going to the Rose Bowl, and he said he thought that they were going to win big. That's who Rod was. He was a family man, and he was a devoted Husky. Uh, friendships were a lot to my daddy. He always made sure they, me and we made things. Me and my we made things right with our friends. He always valued. Um, he always made sure we understood the value of a friendship and he cared a lot about you all here that are sitting here today. And that is what many people say they will remember him for, for his heart of gold. The, the service still going on this evening. A lot of people saying they are sharing their memories and right now they're moving into the portion where they're going to share some food, something they said he also loved to do to cook and to share food with friends. We're going to have more on the service coming up tonight at 630 live in the